Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and I'm starting this video completely bald headed with my wig cap on because we are doing a new Wow African wig. I got a new one in the mail just the other day, so I thought I would do a complete run through of this wig this time from start to finish from bald to slayed so we are going to start by opening up the package and in case you guys missed my last wig video with the silver wig i am partnering with rpg show now to show you guys all their new products and do a whole bunch of cool wig videos so i will be doing this once a week what is this there's a lot of extra stuff like this package is super heavy compared to the rest of the normal packages. So this package is actually like a super deluxe extra heavy package compared to the rest of the package I usually get from RPG show because this package is from My First Wig, which is a sister company by RPG show, but it's a whole new thing that they're starting. It has its own website and everything like that. So this is what the box looks like. It says My First Wig, quality wigs for beginners. It comes in this really sturdy, different type of box. And there was this thing in there. Not sure what this is yet, but I guess I will find out. This is my first impression of any of my first wig products. I'm debuting it to you guys right now. So I'm just going to open the box. So right when you open the box, you will see this really cute pink package. And it almost looks like a little, like, you know, like those little garment bags that you put like your dry cleaning in. It's kind of like a little garment bag, but for your wig, it's so cute. Oh my God. So it says, my first wig, quality wigs for beginners. At the top, it has a little zip pouch open and it's nice and clear so you can see exactly what's inside. And this is so cute. These are like perfect to store your wigs and I've never seen anything like this before. So there's the wig inside of there. Not sure what it looks like yet. But the next thing in here is this really cute little pouch. Fuchsia and black stripes. Also says my first wig on it. Let's see what's inside. So this has your wig cap in here, nude wig cap, as well as some bobby pins, my first wig bobby pins, okay, turn up. Also, we've got a really nice little rat tail comb, some little claw clip, hair clip thingies, and that's it. So that's really nice. It comes with a lot of like good accessories that you might need to apply and wear your wig. So that's like really cool. And then it also comes with, oh wow, this is like a bundle of matching hair that goes with the wig. And they give you like a few little hair extension clips to go with it. So I'm guessing this is like if you want to add volume to your wig, you can basically like make little clip-ins and then use the clip-ins in your wig to add volume to it or add length or whatever. Or you can also just clip them into your real hair if this still happens to match your real hair as well, which obviously this does not match my real hair right now because I've dyed it and everything like that. But I could definitely even dye this hair and use it as clip-ins or just keep it and use it for the wig. So that's really awesome. I I have never seen any wig company provide you with anything extra like this in terms of providing you with extra hair. That's like above and beyond you guys. And then of course it also comes with your little instruction pamphlet, which for something that's my first wig, this is aimed towards beginners with wigs and stuff like that. This is probably gonna be really helpful because you're gonna wanna read through this and know exactly what to do to apply your wig. So first off I see in here Ivy Deer. Um, Ivy Powell, she is featured in here on how to apply the wig and make it look natural. And then it just comes with your wig card which tells you exactly what kind of wig you got. So this is a full lace human hair wig, straight hair, color 1B, 20 inches long, silky texture. The lace color is light brown and the cap construction is cap number 3 which is a glueless lace cap in a cap size 1. And then that's all that's inside of the box. So this is the wig, ooh, this looks pretty long. Just take off the netting that's holding it in place and shake it out a little bit. Oh wow, this is actually feels like it's actually pretty thick. And then you kind of just want to, once you got your hair flattened down, braided down, whatever, put your wig cap on. I already had an extra wig cap on, so I didn't have to use the one that they gave me. But then the first thing I would do after that is just plop the wig straight on my head. Don't touch anything yet, just to try it on for first impressions. 
So this is what it looks like when I just first plop it on my head, which wow, it's been a very long time since I have just worn like straight up all black hair. So this is kind of like oh, color shock or whatever. I definitely don't mind it. I love all hair colors, so I really don't mind. But yeah, so this is just like a black wig. It's actually pretty long, like I said, like it comes down to about my waist actually. And it actually is pretty thick because lots of times before I've gotten like straight hair wigs from other companies and they just feel so thin. Like you can bring it all into one ponytail and I'll just be like this much hair. But this actually looks like a really good amount of hair and don't forget that they did actually give me an extra bundle of hair that I can clip into it if I want it to be even thicker but I don't even feel like I need to do that right now because this wig is already thick so as you can see it just has the excess lace on here just like all full lace wigs will have and it's got a nice little um, hairline going on I have a really crazy hairline so wig hairlines never match my hairline and I usually just use my own hairline and kind of just wear the wig pushed back a little bit that makes it look more natural anyway if you use your own baby hairs so I guess this wig is meant to be like a side part with how it's parted right now but of course since it is a full lace wig you can part it however you want you can even part it half up half down you can part it in pigtails you can part it literally however you want middle part side part everything because the whole entire wig is lace so the whole entire wig looks like scalp that's what's so freaking great about these full lace wigs and that's also why they're a little bit more pricey because they're so much better so I'm just gonna take the wig back off and remove the excess lace so to cut off this excess lace that you guys I saw sitting on my forehead looking pretty crazy just get a pair of little scissors and start on one end of the hairline and cut as close to where the hairs start as possible without actually cutting any of the hairs off and then there should also be a piece of excess lace at the nape of the neck region. This is going to help it look really natural when you have a ponytail, but you wanna trim that off as well. So now that I have all the lace trimmed off, you can see there's no craziness going on on my forehead. And I'm going to use the rat tail comb that they gave us and just create my parting where I want it. And then once I kind of have everything mostly situated on how I think I want it to look, I'm just going to reach in and grab the combs that are on the inside of the wig and slide them into my real hair. If you have cornrows underneath, slide them directly under the braids. If you just have your hair slicked down, just slide them into your hair. And I'm sorry you guys if you can hear them mowing the lawn out there. I just realized that that's been going on this whole entire time. So I do apologize for that, but I live in an apartment complex, so I really can't help it. So hopefully you can just ignore it for now. Hey, sorry guys, I had to go change out of that pink lipstick because with this dark hair and this tan shirt, it just was not working, so I apologize. Uh, I think this looks a lot better. But anyway, so like I was saying, I just am getting my part situated, deciding where I'm I want to part my hair and one thing with these lace wigs is you can make your part go as far back as you want so don't just make like a little one inch part right here you can make an actual full part that goes all the way back like how you would on your natural hair and then basically what you want to do is you can use these little clips that they gave you to kind of hold it down since it doesn't want to naturally go that way just so it won't keep flopping back over what you're going to do to make this part lay down and stay like that is just get you some extra hold hairspray any old hairspray will work and then get you a curling iron or a curling wand a flat iron could work but a curling wand works better because you get that direct heat like from the curling wand rather than a flat iron it's hard to like maneuver it so i like to use a curling wand this is just my new me three in one curling wand so i've had that heating up and then i'm just going to take some hairspray and spray it directly on that area and before that dries take the curling wand carefully not to touch your forehead and just flatten this down Then you can take a little bit more hairspray and use a soft bristle brush to brush down any flyaways. If you have a ton of flyaways, because sometimes when you get a fresh wig, it just has all those extra little hairs in there, you can actually just yank them right out because sometimes they just won't lay down and you don't need those hairs anyway. 
So you can either yank them out or get some scissors and just cut them out. So now the top is a lot flatter as you can see and it's starting to look a lot more natural. And then as you can see the color of my scalp is a very light beige color but the color of the scalp of the wig is too dark. I'm just going to take some matte eyeshadow out of this matte elf palette and just take a thin brush and get a color that is similar to my actual scalp color and just go over this area to make it match and then also out of this matte eyeshadow palette they have this dark black color which i'm actually going to use on a different brush to brush across my baby hairs to darken them up a little bit because this wig is so dark and my hair is actually not really dark enough i'm just going to darken it a little bit with some eyeshadow so as you can see that just darkened it right up and the good thing about this is it's obviously completely washable so you don't have to worry about messing up your natural hair so honestly i could stop here and just wear this hair straight out of the box like this but i'm actually going to amp this wig up a little bit just to show you some more versatility of it and use my curling wand to just add a few effortless ways to it so just taking some really large random chunks, I'm just going to wrap it around my largest barrel on my curling wand and hold it there for a little bit and let it go. So it just creates a bit of a wave in the hair. So yeah, this is the finished look of this hair. Definitely something different for me compared to what I've been wearing for the past couple of months, but I like it, it's a nice change. And as you can see, it's really easy to wear and style this wig, even if it is your first wig. That's the whole point of this. This is the perfect beginner wig because it's just a nice basic hairstyle that's really versatile that you can do a lot of stuff with and a lot of stuff too. This is real human virgin hair, so if you want to dye this hair if you want to do an ombre if you want to do a fun color if you want to add some highlights if you want to do anything to it you can but you could just start off with this basic wig and work from there and do different styles over time because these wigs last for years like I'm telling you years my first RPG show wig I got it like two years ago i think and it still lasts and it still holds up as long as you take care of it oh and by the way this pink thing is actually a wig stand i see it on the cover up here once you assemble it it makes like a little head shape and you can put your wigs on there so that's a really 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 nice added plus so yeah overall i'm really impressed with this wig you guys are constantly asking me what i would suggest for a beginner what i would suggest as your first wig well honestly this is it i think it's just perfect all around for a beginner really easy to wear really easy to use and really easy to change up to your personal liking so if you are new to the wig game or you've been looking for your first wig to buy definitely check out my first wig I will put the link down below for the website it's a brand new thing like I said and I will put the specific link down below for this specific wig itself because this is the one that I would probably recommend it's nice and long and glamorous and just gives you everything that you would want out of a wig so if you guys enjoy this video or found it helpful definitely give me a big thumbs up it would really help me out a lot leave your comments concerns down below and I will see you guys in my next one bye